I'm joined now by Luke Demaliov with Total. So thank you so much for joining us here at this symposium, the big discussion, carbon capture and storage. And of course, we're hearing from oil companies, gas companies, uh, institutions. Everybody really has to be involved with this together. You can't solve it on your own. How important is this? Well, yes, essentially, uh, carbon capture and storage is, is really part of the solutions for uh, reduction of uh, emissions, of greenhouse gas emissions, but it's a very uh, large-scale issue and it goes beyond uh, what a uh, single company can do. So yes, we definitely need to team together and uh, collaborate on this issue. Climate is a public good, so we should team together and, uh, and work on CCS development. Now, how have you found this symposium talking with other international colleagues? How are you hearing? Is everybody experiencing the same issues, the same problems? Well, they, this technology is developing in different parts of the world at the same time. So, uh, a lot of things is happening, and we, uh, we, if we can uh, share the views of what is happening in, in different countries, then we can, of course, accelerate the, uh, the, the deliverables and accelerate the availability of this technology. Now, the, the big oil companies, the big energy companies like yourself and Total, of course, you would also be the guys who have you have the experience. You know what's going on. And this is very, very vital that you bring the technology and the experience to play in this. Uh, well, yes, of course, at least for, uh, for the storage part. We, we need this technology as an oil and gas company. We, we need it for our own projects to reduce our own emissions, of course. That would be our first motivation to develop projects. But then, of course, it is uh, our uh, understanding that this technology has to be available for also our customers, people who buy our uh, fossil products so they can avoid emissions. So we are also interested in sharing and accelerating this uh, development. Are you encouraged with the, the movement and the CCS agenda over the last few years? Well, there has been ups and downs and uh, it hasn't gone as fast as we expected. And uh, yes, Copenhagen was a kind of a disappointment in, in that respect because we need of course, that some part of the cost of the CCS technology be compensated and taken into account as a CO2 not emitted to the atmosphere. So there must be a value to this uh, CO2 avoided uh, emissions. So this is not the case outside of Europe today. So we definitely need a, a more global solution. And maybe it's uh, COP16 in Mexico might not give the answer either, but it's important that it is you know, at the top of the agenda, if nothing else. It has to be up there and people have to be discussing it. Absolutely. It's a, we, we, let's keep pushing. I mean, if we believe this is a real, reasonable solution, and uh, I share this view, and we share this view, that CCS must be part of the, at least the portfolio of solutions, amongst other solutions, yes, but at least not be forgotten because it is a, a very strong contributor for uh, large-scale emissions from industry. Super. Thank you so much for taking the time. You're welcome.